What's up, everybody? I'm Slot, a movie guy. Here's where I rank all five Joker actors from the worst to the best with Joaquin Phoenix and Joker. Also, I did a Joker movie review on the channel. You can check it out. You can click on that circle icon on top. And by the end of this video, let me know where you rank all your Joker actors from the worst to the best. You can throw in Mark Hamill Joker in there if you want to. I just did because this is just the five actors that played the Joker live action. And Mark Hamill just did a voiceover of the Joker. And that's why if you want to put the Mark Hamill's in your rank, Mark Hamill in your ranking of the Joker actors, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And with all that being said, let's just get started. Jared Leto. His Joker... I didn't like it. If you want the people that like it, that's fine. I just didn't like it. It to me, it felt like Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger, Joker, like combined a little bit. The combined both more like Heath Ledger, and and I always say if you could bring your own take of the Joker, you can. And Jared Little kind of did a little bit his his thing of his own Joker a little bit in the film it, in Suicide Squad. It just some of his some of the way he's acting a little bit felt a little bit like Heath Ledger and it just didn't feel like this own take of Joker and it kind of like was like kind of like didn't fit well with me. I was just looking at the film the Suicide Squad film like uh I don't know. It and, and it's not not his fault because some of the because in the movie he didn't get a lot of screen time and that what hurts it all. It just this Joker screen time in Suicide Squad is so minimal. If he I think he only had like seven or six minutes of screen time in the film and stuff and that wasn't enough as the flashback sequences with him and Harley Quinn and the scenes with him and Harley Quinn and stuff it was just it those were like could have been very interesting because we finally see like Joker and Harley Quinn live action on the big screen and stuff and that could have worked but they they it was just a little bit and we couldn't get a whole lot of it and I think if Joker was like the main villain in the movie we could have got a lot of we could have have like probably like the best Joker on screen maybe and stuff, but unfortunately this was the Joker we got and the style of the Joker with the clothes and stuff and how that the 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 makeup design and all that it was okay. It he's not like in his like the the suit and all that the purple suit. It's like he had like a jacket and stuff and the tattoos. And I can get they try to like update the Joker instead of like put him in a suit and stuff. It was okay, but it's just not the traditional Joker that, that that I know. And it was kind of a downer for me. But if you like it, that's fine. But for me, just didn't do it. Cesar Romero. This is the Joker. Well, I think fam friends and family can watch. This is about like. The friendly Joker. And this is the, it's still the crazy Joker, but this is the Adam West Joker thing where it's very campy from the TV series and then the Batman 1966, if I'm not mistaken, the year, if I'm not wrong. I hope, hope I'm not wrong with the year. I think it was 1966 with the Batman film that came out with the Joker. This is the divergent joke. This is the first time we've seen the Joker like live action on like, like the live action Joker. And this one was actually not bad. I mean, it was in the, it was very cheesy and campy. But this is the, the Cesar Romero Joker was just like, was just having fun. You could tell he was having a blast with this character. He, the, the, the energy level, the excitement. You could tell that this, like, Cesar Romero was just all in in his role. And it was actually good. I, I actually, it's, it's time when that, with the, when the Batman thing comes on with episodes with the Joker. I would really get enjoyment out of it because Cesar Romero just brings that little crazy, that wackiness there, that hoo-hoo and all that. It was it was really good. I really enjoyed it and stuff. And I could get it cheesy. It's not our traditional joke. It's not the Joker we see now, like the ones that like the the killing and all that. But it was it was good for what what it did for his time and stuff. And I think it's still where families and friends can watch this particular Joker if they don't want to see the one. That like goes like kills people and stuff and go the madness crazy. This is like the the family fun where he just happy where he just crazy and do all these evil stuff, but not like the ones on live action. So I think this I think he's perfectly ranked where he's at. 
See, remember, I still like this guy as a Joker. It's kind of funny just seeing the makeup as the as I grow up. I kind of like see the little mustache because see, remember, we never shaved it off. So it's kind of funny. He's one of those Joker actors that still kept the mustache and they put makeup over him. So that was the point. Like I said, I. I think he's perfectly ranked here, and I still like his Joker. I still like his take as the Joker. Excuse me. It's still great, and I still love it. Jack Nicholson. Oh, this is... I, I have heart still with 89 Batman. And Jack Nicholson, Joker, I still like, man. Man, his... His take of Joker, this is like, this is my first, like, as like far as, like, this is the first time I've seen Joker, like, live action. This, like, was like, whoa, this, this is like, was, this was freaking phenomenal. I love Jack Nicholson Joker. Still to this day, there's other Jokers that, that did better, but Jack Nicholson Joker still sticks with me. And, and if none of these Joker actors didn't, like, come out in recent years, this would be like my favorite all-time Joker because Jack Nicholson, man, the stuff he he says like, wait till they get a load of me. And the other one with the the pill of the moonlight, but the one I like is with that little taser thing where he kills the guy like this and burns the guy up. He said, "I'm glad you're dead." <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're dead. <laughs> I love that. It was. That's one of my favorite scenes, and I love when he's like in the art gallery and Batman comes in. He said, "Where does he get all those toys?" And then when he said, "You want to punch a guy with glasses?" When you in the finale with him and Batman, it was so great. I love Jack Nicholson Joker, and I will admit that part that his Joker. This was this was a director Tim Burton that directed this movie, and it's kind of like. It's not like this. I love I love this interpretation Joker, but I can see where fans can question on because this is kind of, Tim Burton kind of changed stuff with the character and stuff, with the art and stuff like that. The Joker that is that's fascinated with art and stuff like that, so like that, and then have like Prince music where he has that little box thing, the music box thing or stuff where he dancing around, where Prince music and stuff like that, and the trust thing and the parade. It kind of can take you out because you're like, the Joker hear Prince music and stuff? It's real, it, it can be dated at times, but hey, I enjoy it for what it is. I love Jack Nicholson, the Joker. Still great Joker. I can watch that film any, any day, any time with Jack Nicholson, Joker. Man, it's so great. And that's all I can say. Joaquin Phoenix. Y'all probably thought I was gonna have Joaquin Phoenix and I don't want if you like if, if, and stuff. I think Joaquin Phoenix. Hey, I gotta give it more time and more years and stuff to, to see and stuff. But right now, I say Joaquin Phoenix' performance as the Joker is absolutely amazing. His performance and this is like the origin tale of the Joker. And I think it, was, it came out a perfect time. This movie, it it did it, it, it. His his. He just his acting performance as the Joker was just so great. It just you kind of like like this is a move where I like I felt sorry for the Joker. I mean he was like the Phil comedian and stuff like that. I really felt for like when like and the stuff like him getting bullied and stuff. And Joaquin Joaquin Phoenix performance as the Joker was just so good. And it, that's what makes the move work. The storyline and his acting really paid off. Wife is just one of those actors that just surprised you. And this one was like the most surprising performance as the Joker. It was just so realistic because you can see this like this. It was just his that I mean, the performance was just so realistic. You can like really buy into it. And then when his when the madness comes in, it evolves like it evolves in like when this fell comedian and him getting bullied. And you see that madness and that laughing thing that that disorder he has where he's laughing like <laughs> holding on it was absolutely amazing it paid off and you could and it really was so good and man i could go on and on you could check out my review like i said the circle icon it is joaquin Phoenix, just his performance as a joker and the madness it was just like he brought his own spin that's what i love it was just like what Jack Nicholson did with his own spin, Joaquin Phoenix put his own spin, 
It was just so good how Walking Fit just put that madness there and the craziness. And I'm hoping they maybe like do more what do more with Walking Fit and Joker in their future with films because he just is so phenomenal as the Joker. And, and that's pretty much all I can say. It's just so great. And I hope y'all get a chance to see Joker Moon because Walking Forms is like top notch good. Number one, ah, now here we go. I thought my jokes were bad. <laughs> I don't want to kill you. If I do that, I'll have nothing to do. You complete me. Why so serious? Oh, Heath led the Joker. What can I say? This is... One, I went to like the, in the past, like I went to um the, Dal the Dallas, Texas, the big IMAX screen, the big screen thing that Dallas had that some big like some special movie there where they had a big screen. Best movie experience I had watching The Dark Knight and seeing Heath Ledger performance as the Joker. Oh, uh, this one was just like people was like. This one was where everybody cares. I like, why is Heath Ledger playing the Joker? Everybody died this guy because the films he played in. But he played in this little, the romance comic film, 10 Things. Uh, I think it's called Hate About You, so if I'm not mistaken. And he was good in that film. He was good in that film, but his performance as the Joker, like, blew everybody away. This is where everybody still talks about, still to this day. He is one of uh, his Joker off. Uh, this was like, this is directed by Christopher Nolan, The Dark Knight, and Heath Ledger performing as Joker was just so phenomenal. It just, the way he brought the madness, it was just like, it was the, it was a, it was on a whole nother level. It was just, it wasn't like you're, you're, you're like the Joker doing gags and stuff. It was like the grounded approach of Psycho Joker. It was so good, man. Him, like, stabbing a guy with a pencil. He said, I'll do a magic trick. You want to see a magic trick? Stuck the pencil and the guy came. He said, da-da. It was great. And then the scars, like, he, with the fit, where he said, where he kept telling different stories of different people, where he told my, uh, my the uh, other guy, where he killed the other guy stuff, the actor guy. You know, but he said, you want to know how I got these scars? Let me show you. My father was a drinker. But that scene, and then we're at a party scene where he tells another story, a different story altogether, where he said, you know how I got these scars? It was so great. And the opening scene with him at the bank robber was just so amazing. I loved it. It was everything good about it. And the and the dynamic with um where Joker's in the um where where Christian Bell and stuff in the um prison scene, like in the room and stuff. That scene was so good. Then the hospital scene where he talks in two faces and stuff. All that was great where he says, I just do things. Everything about it. There's so many great like lines that Heath Ledger's Joker says in the film. It is just so great. And every scene with Heath Ledger is just like, just great. It's just cinematic great at best. And I just love every minute of Heath Ledger Joker. If you haven't seen Dark Knight, I recommend you to. It's a treat to watch, especially with Heath Ledger's performance. Whew. Heath Ledger's performance is just out of his world. And I think, to me, in my eyes, and I got to give Joaquin Phoenix a chance and stuff. Like I said, Heath Ledger Joker been out, like, I, it was like 11 years. We could, like, for, like, to say Heath Ledger Joker. Until I give, like, a little bit, like, time to give Heath, I mean, Joaquin Phoenix time as Joker. I give him more time. But right now, he's like the Joker. It's still number one in my book. He's he he checks the mark as like Joker. The way his Joker performance it just <sighs> sticks in my mind. And when I think of the live action Joker performance, this one sticks in my mind, and that's what I feel. And that's pretty much it. But like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know where you rank all your Joker actors from your worst to your best. Let me know. And to all the Joker fans, I love the Joker. Joker is one of my favorite Batman villains. I probably said that in other videos. 
And I enjoy doing this video because Joker is just, just, just an iconic character, super villain. Man, he's just so iconic. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, click thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and the bell button. That's why I can see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.